But as for tonight in Greensboro, it is main event time. But this is not the first time that we have seen Randy Orton tonight. The blood certainly on the hands of the cold-hearted Apex Predator. The following is scheduled for one fall, making his way to the race from St. Louis, Missouri, weighing in at 250 pounds, the Viper Randy Orton. We kicked off tonight with the footage that surfaced of the events of earlier today. Edge arriving to the Greensboro Coliseum only to be met on ambush by Randy Orton in the backstage area. And an absolutely vicious RKO in the concrete. We have yet to hear an update on the rated R superstar, but Randy Orton certainly sending a message to Edge that no matter how many times these two men step foot in that ring, the issues will never be settled. Randy Orton has got a personal vendetta against the rated R superstar, and you gotta believe that Edge getting involved with what was originally a one-on-one -on -one championship match for Orton at Money in the Bank certainly took those issues to another level. Of course, at Money in the Bank, Drew McIntyre retained his World Heavyweight title against Edge and Randy Orton. An absolutely war of all wars in a triple threat matchup. And the interesting thing to note is Randy Orton was the one pinned on that night in Columbus, Ohio. But you know the Viper not going to take blame for his own loss. He's going to push that blame off to the rated R superstar Edge. The man who interjected himself. The man who made it a triple threat match. Which again was originally Randy Orton getting a one-on-one -on -one shot against Drew McIntyre. Well, so much history between Orton and Edge and... After what we saw earlier today, Randy Orton not settled his issues with Edge just yet. But he better refocus because there is a phenomenal one on his tail. Randy Orton set to lock horns with AJ Styles and what is going to be a main event of epic proportions tonight on Friday Night SmackDown. And his opponent representing the OC from Gainesville, Georgia. Weighing in at 218 pounds, the phenomenal AJ Styles. Well, you want to talk about no shortage of history. AJ Styles and Randy Orton, certainly no strangers to each other. Already in 2023, they have had two classic battles, first dating back to January the 1st at the Royal Rumble. Both men were a part of Monday Night Raw. Randy Orton retained his WWE Championship on that night against AJ Styles. But the last time we saw these two men on opposite sides of the squared circle was in the midst of the King of the Ring tournament. And AJ Styles, of course, knocking off Randy Orton on that night. And I'm sure the Apex Predator has not forgotten about that eerie e evening in the midst of the King of the Ring and is looking for some vengeance here tonight on SmackDown. Big time main event. On hand, what's been a great night of action here in the blue brand. The road to SummerSlam continues as AJ Styles meets Randy Orton in your main event attraction. And AJ hot out of the gate, taking the fight to Randy Orton. You know, AJ Styles and Edge, two men who have had some battles with each other, but as we saw earlier this year, some mutual respect between the Phenomenal One and the Rated R Superstar. AJ and Edge teamed up back at WrestleMania to take on Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn. And I'm sure AJ Styles feels a little bit of responsibility tonight to do one good for Edge in the midst of this matchup after Randy Orton's assault earlier this evening. Nonetheless, Randy Orton and AJ Styles locking horns on what could be a pivotal matchup to determine who's going to be next in line for the World Heavyweight Championship after SummerSlam. A championship set to be defended on the 20th of August. As Drew McIntyre, who has held the gold since WrestleMania Saturday, puts the title on the line against the 2023 King of the Ring winner, All Day Austin Theory. That is going to be Friday Night SmackDown's main event at the biggest party yet, SummerSlam. And of course, next week here on SmackDown Live from Hot Atlanta, Drew McIntyre back in action for the first time since Money in the Bank. As he goes one-on-one -on -one with the blue chipper of the blue brand, Braun Breaker. No shortage of history as well between those two men. Set to reignite that flame next week here on SmackDown. Nonetheless, Randy Orton taking the fight to AJ Styles, but he better keep his eye on the ball. Because Styles not one to take lightly from bell to bell. As Randy Orton finds out yet again just there. 
As we mentioned, the two matches earlier this year between these two men really has just gotten better and better every time Styles and Orton step foot inside the squared circle. They know each other's arsenals. They know each other's what they bring to the game. And AJ Styles looking to knock off Orton early. And he almost had him, not just yet. Remember how tough that battle was in the quarterfinals of the King of the Ring tournament. AJ Styles barely survived Randy Orton on that night, but he did just that. And I am sure Randy Orton has not forgotten about the man who derailed his King of the Ring promise. Nonetheless, the fight gets taken to the outskirts by AJ Styles. However, Randy Orton's the one on top, at least for a moment. But right now, we got a Pier 6 brawl at ringside. Styles sending Orton into the barricade and now back inside the square circle. Randy Orton on his feet as dangerous as ever. And back and forth, the pendulum of momentum swings. And a vintage snap slam by Randy. Oh, and now into the ropes. You want to talk about vintage Randy Orton not wasting any time tonight. Going for this classic DDT off Brett's rope. And AJ Styles may be seeing stars here in the Coliseum in Greensboro. Randy Orton looking for the kill early. Randy's already been plenty of busy throughout today with that ambush on the Rated R Superstar Edge. I'm sure Orton's looking to get the job done as soon as humanly possible against AJ Styles. And he's got to know better that it's not going to be an easy task. AJ Styles is going to keep singing until the cows come home. Pele kicked by the Phenomenal One. AJ does it better than anybody inside of that ring. Styles, who is, of course, oh, wait a minute. Got Randy Orton, fireman's carry position and dropping him on the knee with the neck breaker. Into the cover, goes Styles. And he almost had him there, but Orton survives. As we were about to mention, we were talking about the King of the Ring tournament. AJ Styles, of course, a few months back, coming up short in the semifinals against Austin Theory, who went on to win the whole thing. And then just a few weeks ago, AJ Styles coming up short in the men's Money in the Bank ladder matchup. Although some opportunities passing Styles by, every time you step foot inside the squared circle, a chance to change your momentum. And that's what Styles is looking to do here tonight on SmackDown. Taking the fight to Randy Orton. And Orton getting out of dodge, at least for the moment. But here comes Styles over the top rope with the forearm. Almost a variation of the phenomenal forearm that nobody hits better than AJ Styles. And back inside of the ring, and Randy Orton is looking worse for wear. Styles could be near in victory tonight on Friday Night SmackDown as he heads to the top rope. Randy Orton down and out, and I don't think he's going to like the crash landing he's about to be a part of. Dropping the elbow, and that may be all she wrote. Styles into the cover at only a one. This is Randy Orton's first matchup as well since the night of Money in the Bank. Although it was an absolute war against Edge and Drew McIntyre, Styles going through a war of his own in Money in the Bank. You gotta wonder if either of these men are 100% tonight or if they've had enough time to heal up and come out swinging to the fullest extent. And finally, a counter by Randy Orton, a much needed one, and an RKO out of nowhere. And that's gonna do it. No, AJ Styles gets the shoulder up. AJ popping the shoulder off the canvas. Randy Orton struck with the RKO out of nowhere. But Styles has felt it before. And he's fought from underneath before. And now AJ. Styles clash on Orton. Will that do it? And Randy Orton kicks out. We have got a barn burner on hands tonight in North Carolina. And RKO does not keep Styles down for the three. A Styles Clash does not keep Orton down for the three. And we have yet to hear a bell, which means fists are going to continue to fly as Randy Orton lays out the phenomenal one. Business is picking up in your main event tonight on SmackDown. The road to SummerSlam certainly heating up. I'm sure both of these men would love to find their way inside the squared circle in Levi Stadium next month. AJ taking to the outside and Randy Orton 
His wheels may be turned on what he's got to do to keep down Styles tonight. If the RKO didn't do it, what's he going to have to do to keep Styles down for good? And now Randy Orton, rare occurrence in the arsenal, but possibly desperate for victory as Orton comes off the top, but nobody home. AJ had that rare misstep from Randy Orton scouted. And now AJ looking to rally here in North Kakalaki as down goes Orton. Wherever the rated R superstar edge is, his edge is, if he's even still in the building tonight, I'm sure he's feeling good right now about what Styles is doing to Orton. Off the neck breaker, and a close call again, and AJ Styles' wheels are spinning. What is he gonna have to do to get the three count over the future Hall of Famer and Randy Orton? The Greensboro, North Carolina, certainly giving their appreciation to these two SmackDown All-Stars as the fight continues. Oh, wait a minute. Randy Orton starting to come unglued. Orton go to that place and down goes Styles. AJ Styles cannot allow a rally out of the Viper, but there's a reversal. Back and forth we go again, and Styles looking to steal the victory. Stacking up Orton. And Orton gets the shoulder up. The matchup rolls on. And what a matchup it is. Orton on the outside of the ring. Wearing in punishment as AJ Styles, I think this is the best case scenario for Styles at the moment. Taking that moment to breathe and trying to recalculate a game plan to keep down Randy Orton tonight. Now Orton back inside the squared circle, grabbing a stranglehold on Styles. Whipping him off, going for another slam, but AJ had it scouted. He can't go to the well too many times with the same maneuvers when you're in there with somebody the caliber of an AJ Styles. Little snake guys there. All up to a man Randy Orton had many a battles with here on SmackDown back in his younger days. The Phenom, the Undertaker. Well, oh, Styles down and out, and Randy Orton yet again going uncharacteristic, heading to the top. This time, nails the elbow to the heart. And that may do it. AJ's got no win left in his system, but somehow, did you see the enthusiasm off the kick out? AJ Styles not willing to give an inch tonight. I don't know how AJ and Randy Orton, for that matter, still have anything left in the tank. They have thrown their best shots. An RKO, a Styles clash, and yet this matchup rolls on. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, next week here on SmackDown, we're going to be live from Atlanta, Georgia. The American Nightmare Cody Rhodes back in action against Alpha Academy's Chad Gable. Ron Breaker set to go one-on-one -on -one with the World Heavyweight Champion Drew McIntyre, plus the 16-man bracket set to be revealed for the Cruiserweight Classic. Oh, wait a minute. Back inside the squared circle. Randy Orton, a second RKO! Into the cover. Thanks for coming. After a phenomenal matchup, Styles is going home with his head not raised high tonight. Randy Orton making Greensboro, North Carolina his place to be tonight. First the ambush on edge earlier today, and then leaving his territory inside of the ring with an RKO. Here's your winner, the Vipers, Randy Orton. Randy Orton as vindictive and spiteful as ever made a statement when he ambushed Edge, and he just made another with that RKO on it. Oh, wait a minute! The Rated R Superstar is still here in the Coliseum, and he's ambushing the Viper! The brawl is on! Things spilled over to the backstage area earlier today by choice of Randy Orton, but this time it's Edge making the first move, and things now spilling out into the Greensboro Coliseum. Don't pick a fight with somebody like Edge because Edge is going to come back swinging harder than ever. And things are breaking down right now. We have got a brawl on our hands. This is not a match, ladies and gentlemen. Simply a pier six brawl between Edge and Randy Orton. Edge is coming for his payback tonight. And down goes Randy Orton, already exhausted from a clinic with AJ Styles, and now is feeling the wrath of the Rated R Superstar. 
or it may have bit off more than he can chew here tonight in North Carolina as he gets sent to the outside. And Edge has got his eyes locked in over the top rope. Things are breaking down. We got to go off the air. We got to get settled between Edge and Randy Orton. Chase like that, yeah, I play so strong with a knife in the back. I'm a swing home run like a baseball bat. Gonna see me rise if you hate on that. I don't play both sides, doing me no cap. I'm a rock.